Hi Mike, so um, the swing on the left hand side was one of the first ones that he was doing and um, the body track pressure map's not in this uh, video obviously but um, I'll, go th I'll go through what we were seeing anyway. So as he would get set up and take the club back, you can see his first initial movement, he kind of kicks the knee in, kicks the right knee and the pressure starts to go into this right toe and you can almost see the right heel lifting off the ground so you sort of see when he was sort of loaded at the top of his swing that he had on the body track sort of you know 80 90 percent pushing into this uh, right toe which is not uh, not really for him where he wanted to be he wanted to be more in that right heel um, and then again you can see on the way down he's trying to recalibrate and you can see how that left heel sort of comes off the ground to allow him to turn um, and when we get into a position where we lead arm parallel to the ground on the way down here you'd expect him to see the majority of the pressure being pushed down now uh, into that left foot um, and obviously from that point then it sort of releases up and the prey starts to get that feeling of how he can push out of the ground you know and obviously it's a decent swing but how the feet work you can see how they're just shivelling around a little bit and it just started to affect his strike so this was more of like a drill swing on the right hand side so just get him to feel like his right toes sort of curled up a little bit um, in his in his shoe, and again it it creates the hand path works back a lot straighter. Uh, you can see on this one with what he was doing, how the hands because he sort of shifts forward. You can see how the hands then work out away from this little uh, yellow dot. Again, just create make just creates a little. Uh, little change in the hand path working back so this one's much straighter up to the top you can see how again at the top there now the majority of his pressure is pushing into his right heel he's lifting this off which is fine doing the drills and stuff and then as he works down now he can really feel like he drives and pushes down into that left foot and you can see how much more solid that left foot stays as opposed to this one just working off the ground and he absolutely buttoned this one right out of the middle um, so just tiny bits and bobs. Um, I can measure his pressure trace again on the next lesson. I've saved what we've done so far. Um, so we're just trying to look what what's called a bit more of a linear pre uh, pressure trace with an iron. Uh, if you want to have a look at it, you can look on uh, Body Track. Uh, if you just put in Body Track pressure tracing on uh, YouTube, there's some really good stuff on there. So um, just uh, just keep it on top of it, really.